What if I told you the fastest way to make money with AI right now is by giving away free websites? Sounds crazy, right? But here's the thing. People are actually doing this every single day. And I'm gonna show you how. Spencer released an awesome video showing how he was able to book three client meetings in a day using a ridiculously simple script. He literally cold called small business owners with this script. He said, hey Frank, Frank answers, hello. You know, you gotta sound like a normal person, not a salesperson. And then he said, hey, I saw your business on Google and you have some great reviews, but I noticed you don't have a website. So I went ahead and built you a beautiful website to help you get more jobs. And I was wondering if you had 10 to 15 minutes tomorrow to jump on a quick video call to check it out. That's the script. He made just 19 calls that day and three people said yes on the spot. And then something crazy happened. People in the comment section, they tried it too and it worked for them. But there were so many unanswered questions like, all right, well, how do you build a website that fast? How do you get their logo? How do you know the owner's name? Where do you get these leads from? How do you host it? And most importantly, how do you get paid? So many questions left people hanging. You know, they were inspired, but they had no clue what to do next. So I'm doing this video to fill in the blanks and show you some other strategies to getting clients. So by the end of this video, you will know how to build and sell AI powered websites that local businesses pay real money for. And this is for people who have never even built something before. I'm telling you guys, if I can do it, you can do it. Now my disclaimer is that I can never guarantee any results. Your results will always depend on your own efforts and circumstances. This video is for educational purposes only. So I want you guys to stick with me because once you see how this works, you will literally realize that you could start this tomorrow. So now that you know the exact script people are using to get clients, which I'm gonna put in a free guide, just comment guide below and I'll send it to you guys. I wanna show you how to build these websites fast using AI and how to deliver them in a way that makes business owners want to pay you. Now, the best part of all of this is that you don't even need to know any code. You don't need any expensive software and you don't need any design experience. All you need are these three things. You need a simple AI website builder, a list of local businesses, and a message that gets their attention, which I'm gonna show you all in this video. So I'm gonna build a website right now to show you exactly how to do this and how you can do it in minutes. But let's first find a potential candidate for this. So let me show you how Spencer finds his clients on the computer. What he does is before he calls them and does any of the work, he calls them first and tells them that he's already built them a website. So by the time they say, yes, I wanna see it, then he goes and builds the website. But this is the strategy that he uses on the computer that I wanna show you how he actually finds them. Okay, so what you wanna do, well, let's just say like plumbers near Chicago. So what we're trying to look for are local home service businesses that probably know more about to doing the work but not the tech stuff. That stuff they wanna hire out because they just don't know how to do it. So you wanna look for typical home services businesses that don't know how to do these things themselves. So plumbers would be a good example. So if we just look to businesses, what you wanna do is you wanna go to more businesses. And I don't even wanna find people on the first page because they're gonna already have their website. All this is gonna be probably filled out and a lot of reviews. What I wanna do is look for people on like the fourth or like we're starting on the fourth, fifth page. And what I'm looking for is if they don't have a website. So for this example right here, this company does not have a website. But what I don't like about this is that they've been in business for 20 years plus right here and they still don't have a website. Some people are just opposed to these things. So what I wanna look for are like businesses that are like maybe around three to five years because they are probably just getting started but just haven't had the time to build a website. So right now I'm just gonna continue to just look to see which companies on here don't have a website. Father and Sons Plumber, 40 plus years in business. I'm not so sure about this one. They have a nice amount of reviews, but I'm gonna keep looking. Chicago Drain Master, they don't have one 20 plus years. So I just, I'm trying to look for the ones that are not necessarily 20 plus years. This one is 10 years in business. They have 15, so I'm gonna just click on them. And I'm gonna check some of just the reviews to see how recent the reviews are. And so three months, five months, that's good to see. And then I wanna just double check to make sure that they don't have a website. So I'm gonna go here and copy this and put it in Google again and see if they have a website that pops up. And so I see the Better Business Bureau, MapQuest, Yahoo, Yelp. Okay, so they don't have a website. They don't even have a Facebook page. So they don't have this stuff. So this would be a good opportunity for them. So this is what Spencer would go ahead and do. He would go ahead and call them and tell them that he's already built them a website. So let's go in and build them a website. So we're gonna go to, use this tool, go high level, and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to create a website with their AI builder. So I'm gonna log into my account, 
And just so you guys know, you can try, I have a 30 day free trial for this. So you guys can literally check this out, create websites for people and get paid with the free trial before you even have to start paying for this. The idea is that you can get clients before you start paying so they can actually pay for the software for you. That's a good case scenario. That's not always a case scenario. Okay, so what you wanna go to are sites when you're on here. And then we're gonna build this with AI. So I'm gonna click on build with AI and then I'm gonna show you how easy this is. So this is what they're gonna ask you. They're gonna assist you or you can just build it yourself with a prompt. So I went to ChatGPT already before this and I said that I wanted to build a prompt for a plumber and this is what it gave me. So, and I'm gonna give you guys this prompt inside the freak out I'm gonna give you. So right here, we're going to go ahead and just copy this right here. And then I'm going to go back to high level and I'm gonna put this whole thing right in here. And then I'm going to say that the, uh, let's see, the name of this company is Primetime Plumber. So we're gonna say Primetime Plumber in here. And then I wanna put their phone number in here too so we don't have to do any of that. So their phone number is right here. And then just make sure that's all set up. All right, so then we're gonna go ahead and let them create this website for us. And I'm gonna show you how to customize this to make it our own. What we're doing right now also is we are going to create a niche template for all plumber websites. So in moving forward, if we wanna to continue to work with plumbers, we're just gonna use the same template and just change a couple of things. We're gonna change the phone number, change the logo, and those are the main things that we're gonna change. These are just draft websites. We're gonna send this just to say, we created this for you. And of course, you're gonna be able to have their changes to it, but we're just trying to show them something that they can now have of their own. That's the point of this. It's not to spend tons of hours creating these websites. It's just to show them something that they don't already have that can convert into more customers. That's the point of this. And that's why they want to pay you just for hosting this every single month. Okay, so this is the website right here. And I'm going to show you how we're going to make it our own. So we want to go to preview mode just to see what it looks like. And we're going to add an image here. Our key plumbing services. Why choose clear pump? What our service area? You can put that a map in there. We're going to put a form in there. And this is how it looks, and this is how we can make this customizable now. So now we're going to go ahead and add some images to this. So for the logo, we are going to go to Canva. So what I wanna show you guys, I have Canva Pro, and I can easily create logos. So the company name is Primetime Plumber. So I'm going to go to Canva, and then I wanna show you how, so you're gonna say for Canva AI right here, it's click Canva AI, create, a logo for a plumber with the name Primetime Plumber. And let's just see what it creates. And then it usually gives me like three or four versions of a logo and I can decide which one. If I don't like it, I can be more specific. So let's see what it creates. So I kind of like this one right here. So I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna go to use Canva Editor. What I wanna do is I wanna remove the background because is well, I want it to be transparent and white in the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this, background remover, just click on that. And you can do all these things inside Canva Pro. And then it looks very cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and share this. And then I go to download. I'm gonna be a PNG, but I want a transparent background. And I'm gonna go ahead and download this. And then I'm gonna go back to the site and go high level. And then I'm gonna click on this. And then I'm going to click on this little image right here and I'm going to upload this image that for this logo right here. And then click on that under my download folder. And then I'm going to click on these three dots and select it and then insert media. And then you see that there's the logo right there. And then so I'm gonna add, like fix the spacing a bit. But one cool thing is here is I can actually have, I don't like, there's nothing, I don't like this background right here. I wanna have an image here. So I'm gonna click on this and then I'm going to go down to um, let's see, image. And then I'm going to click on this image right here and I'm going to use this Ask AI right here to create an image for me. So I'm gonna click on this and then it says describe your image. It will literally create me an image. So I'm gonna tell it to create an image of a plumber doing some work in the bathroom. Let it be horizontal for a homepage slider. And let's see what it gives me. Not bad, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and press continue. And I wanna have that image be the main image right there. So I'm gonna go and click on the image right here. 
and then select and then insert the media. And look at that, this looks pretty sleek. So uh, let's just look in, let me save this. And then I'm gonna get rid of this image right here. This is just where I could put an image, but I don't wanna have it there. So you see how this image is going double like this? You need to fix that. And then this is quite large, so I wanna decrease the amount of size this is. So one thing for this, you wanna click on the image and you wanna make sure that it's not full center parallax. You just want it to be full center. So you just want him on there. And this is quite large, so what you wanna do is kinda of work with the spacing. Under style, you can do things like just making the padding. Let's go more, decreasing the amounts of padding and tinkering around with this. But what you wanna do is just go ahead and finish like tinkering around with it. And then once you're done making these edits to it, that's all it takes to create a website. And if you wanna add more images, you just do exactly what I did and add an image and then just save it, continuously save. So I'm gonna go ahead and update this information right here. I don't think they have their address on Google. Let's see. So whatever they have, I'm going to just make sure that I have it on his website. And this is what I would normally do. So if he said he wanted this website, these are the things that I would go ahead and do. So I just copied and pasted it, but I probably shouldn't have did it that way. Um, and then the company's name is Primetime Plumbing. So what you wanna do is look at, see what all the information you can get from Google, and then you add it to his website. But this is, remember, this is the first time he's gonna see it, so if you don't like any of this stuff, or he doesn't want it, just take it out. It's not a big deal at all. And then if you want this to be darker also, you can click on this image right here so you can see the words a little bit better. And then under General, you can go ahead and go to Background Image Opacity, and then you can make it a little darker, just so you can see the words better. You can do a heavy fade. I do a, I'll do do a light fade here just so you can see the words pop out a little bit. Plumbing, it's fast, reliable plumbing services in Chicago. And then you are key plumbing services. So let's see what it looks like on mobile too. So this looks really good. And then you wanna uh, you know, make sure this all just looks good on mobile as well. Check out the mobile site. On mobile, it looks really good. I'm gonna show you how you can include a form and things like that for them to request a service. So go on here, it says get in touch, you don't have any forms yet. And we wanna add a form and I wanna show you how easy it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this into a different section here because I want the, well, let me see. So click on you do not have any forms and then select form, go ahead and we're gonna create a new one. So what we wanna do is be able to request a service. So we wanna go to edit form and it's gonna be able to, we can literally just build the form right in here. Now we don't have to have all this right here right now so you can just delete this and then you can have, depending on what you are information, how you're gonna be uh, talking to people. But you can add a single line of text here for them to put like what their issue is. Like you wanna know like what is the issue. So right here you can put any text you want and then can say something like, how can we help you? And so something like that and then have this form and then they can, the button can be changed to request a service. So you can just click on that, request a service, save it, and then it's going to insert the form here now. And then once you save it, you, so you see that right there? And so you can have the form right here. I will probably put this all on one thing right here. So I may just duplicate this right here and move it down so it's not in the same spot. Let's see. And let's just see what it looks like. Uh, for service area, we'll just delete this for now. And then main thing is just showing the serv their services, why choose them, what our customers say. And you can make this all look a little bit even better with showing faces and things like that. But this is just a real quick version of how you can do it with AI. And you can get so granular, it's not even funny. If you wanted to add a FAQ section too, like uh, common questions, you can do that. Like you can literally go ahead, not in the footer section, you can create a new section here and then say, create a FAQ section for this website. And let's see what it does. Without us giving it much information, let's just see what it does. And bam, look at that. It already added frequently asked questions. It's already got the questions in here. If you wanna change anything, just scroll down here and you can click on list and you can see what these are and you can just literally go in and make any changes into this. Like this is amazing. You guys, you don't have to know how to do any of this stuff. 
and then so you go ahead to delete but whatever you want to add and you don't know how to do it just tell the AI, the AI to do it like let it do it for you and for example like even if I wanted to make this smaller you can say decrease the size or however you want I mean even though you can do that manually but whatever you don't know how to do you can just go ahead and just have it do it itself and I'm gonna save this but one thing that I love about go high level is that I've never seen a company do this if you don't know how to do something you go to their help and they have zoom calls you can jump on a call with someone and share them your screen and say I'm getting I'm stuck right here can you help me and they will literally help you and it's all included there's no extra pay for this stuff like I love this software so much because I'm not the techie person but yeah I can build a website and if I don't know how to do something I just ask and I did one the other day I want to show you really quickly this was just for uh, a HVAC contractor and I got this image from go high level and just scrolling down it's more even simpler than the other one that I just kind of like how this is you can request a service it's a plain website but these are free websites too this is way better than the other thing that they have right now and this is how you get paid you give them the website for free and then the only thing that they have to pay for is hosting which is what you need to keep the website live and that's for $97 a month now think of this as your foot in the door offer you're not lowballing you're just investing a small cost to acquire a long-term client once they're in your ecosystem that's where the real opportunity begins because now you can offer them tools that will help them make more money and save time. For example, voice AI is massive right now. I sold it for $997 to an HVAC contractor. And at first he only wanted the AI voice setup, but during a follow-up call, he mentioned that he also needed a website. And you know what we said? We said, we got you and no extra charge. This gesture built huge trust. Your goal is to make your service feel essential, like your cell phone. Once they start using it, they can't imagine running their business without it. So when the client says that they do want this, what you need to do is create a Stripe account, but you want to create a Stripe subscription for $97 a month. So you get paid automatically. You don't have to chase them down and pay your invoice. It's going to automatically charge their card every single month to have this service. Now, if you don't want to cold call, you don't have to, there is another easy way to do this. You can post on social media that you are launching a local marketing agency and you're offering to do 10 free websites to local businesses. So you say, if you need one or know someone who does message me from there, use referrals, get face to face, go to networking events and be active in Facebook groups. The opportunities are everywhere. You just have to start. You do the websites for free, but they have to pay for hosting. And that's how you get your foot in the door to offer other things like I was talking about, like voice AI, reputation management, conversation AI. You can have your websites talk. I'm not getting into all that in this video, but you have the possibility to do all those kind of things if you use this software high level because everything's already included. They just don't know how to use it until you let them know how it works. So the only question left is, are you gonna try it? Guys, use my special link to get this AI website builder free for 30 days. And if you wanna see exactly how the voice AI upsell works, watch this video right here. As always, thanks for watching guys. Have a great day.